a short update on the energies. April 25, 2014 As many of you have already noticed, the energetic activities over the last few days have been nothing if not on the heavy side, and this will indeed continue for quite a while yet. We hear the groans of discomfort already, but let us hasten to add that you will feel the lightning in your bodies as these energetic injections continue. For you are opening yourselves more and more to these emissaries of the light, and as such, it will be as if your body automatically manages to adjust and rearrange itself in such a way, this prolonged period of heightened exposure will become more than bearable. We know that for many, this will fail to reassure, for you will feel as if at a breaking point already, but again we say, know that all is well, and you will all find a way to breathe into those constricted parts of your being to lessen the pressure somewhat. We speak in simple terms, but we also want to remind you that even if this process may seem to be overly taxing at times, it is also one that you will have no problem in handling as long as you manage to stay out of fear. For fear is the single most restricting parameter there is, so too in this, and even if this will not be news to any of you, it once again bears repeating. For fear will take a choking hold on everyone if you let it, and it will restrict your means in every way, and we do mean that very literally. For fear will block your ability to simply be, and it will certainly stop you in your tracks in that all-important task of allowing these incoming particles to aid you in your expansion, and so. The more constriction, the higher the pressure, and this again will in all probability serve to increase the amount of fear within your mind. And so, what can only be described as beneficial can and will be experienced in a very challenging way, the more you try to hold back and lock yourself down. And no, this is not criticism in any way or form, merely a simple statement of the fact that your inherent mechanisms of fight and flight will at one time or another be triggered by this seeming landslide of light, and so, what comes to your aid can be perceived as the opposite, so the natural reaction will be to try to slam shut the doors to your heart in order to protect your innermost core. Again this is only a natural reaction but it is also a reaction that for you have become obsolete and will only serve to impair you, and that is why we will keep reminding you to stay on the alert. The better to counteract these old and primitive gut reactions that may occur during this period of enlightenment. Remember, you have been built of strong stuff, and originally you were prepared to expand and evolve in all directions, but during the Dark Ages, you were in actual fact retrofitted with all sorts of inhibiting mechanisms, and for many of you, traces of these old shackles still linger somewhere in your system. It is not for nothing they have been labeled as survival mechanisms, for your mind has been taught that in order for you to survive, keeping a low profile in every sense of the word was all important. And now, as you have started a brand new existence as carriers of light, you certainly stick out in all sorts of ways. And so, anything coming in that will enhance your ability to shine, will also serve to trigger any of the old mechanisms still within you, and so, you will hear lots of clamoring within, and the signal to duck and cover and to clam up as best as you can, can come from many directions at once. Again, these are indeed obsolete signals, more than ready for the scrap heap, but they are still in many cases very eager to show their prowess, and as such, a show of resistance will be put up, varying from a mild degree to an almost crippling one, where it will seem that your whole body will be rebelling against these interlopers of light that we have already introduced you to. So once again the advice will be the same old one that we will continue to remind you of, namely to try to step within, past that barrier of hue and cry, of danger signs ablaze and of alarm bells going off. For there, you will all find that tranquil deep well of knowingness, the pond of unending light, where nothing can pull you into fear, no matter how hard your body or your mind will try to entice you into falling flat on your face. For you are so much more than your body, and you are infinitely more than your mind, and even if both of them are doing what they can to help you to notice them at the moment, know that your mind is the one that will try to keep you back, while your body is the one that is actually trying to get you going. For your body is more than willing to acquiesce to these new sensations of expansion, but it is the mind that is setting off the signals of distress, and so, the body can only do so much to override them. 
but you can help your body by allowing yourself to find that tranquil place, and when you are there, you can strike up a conversation with your body that will enable you both to literally just be within any and all energetic storm passing through. Remember, you and your physical body are not enemies, you are true allies, and you are indeed what we have told you many times before, a match made in heaven. And together the two of you will also help the mind get past its old limitations, and set you free to go and explore far beyond the old borders of humanity. And yes we do mean that in every sense of the word, as you are indeed here to explore freely, not just to stay confined within the old limitations of fear, nor within the physical limitations that this process of expansion seems to bring with it. Remember, this process in itself can seem to be overwhelmingly exhausting at times, and so, the focus will be very much on the symptoms it ignites and not on the results in themselves. And that is why we are here to remind you that you are not here to suffer, even if that seems to be the case for many of you at the moment. These are merely temporary setbacks, but they are, nevertheless, caused by events that are being put into action in order to lift you out of the old world and fully into the new. We are well aware that our words can offer little, except for some comfort here and there, and so, what we can do, is to simply keep reminding you that the only solution to getting through this intense period with the least amount of discomfort, is to find a way to find your true center, to find that oasis of calm that is there in all of you, no matter how much confusion, anxiety, or noise you seem to be swimming in at the moment. And even if our words seem to be repetitive beyond acceptance to some, that is still the case. For you are the only one who can help yourself through this, by allowing these streams of consciousness flow into your consciousness through your physical body, and the only way to do that, is to stop trying so hard to understand what is going on, and to just feel into it. This may sound like a feeble explanation, but again your human mind will try to make this extremely complicated, and so, the chatter from your mind will literally stand in the way and increase the pressure. For the less you try to understand and the more you manage to simply be, the easier you will find that calm place of knowingness, the place that will help you to understand that you already know what is going on. For this is not something new and therefore something to fear, this is simply all about returning to the full version of you, the you that have no limits and therefore have no need to fear anything. And when you fully embrace this, all of the old barriers will melt away, and the release of tension in your body will be palpable. So again we say try to truly get to terms with the fact that all is well, and that this intensely transformative process is one of reconnection not one of destruction, and so, you need not do anything at all. All you have to do, is to sit back and allow yourself to be lifted out of the shadows and into the light, and to let your heart rejoice from all of the light it can finally drink in again after such a long time in the desert of despair. It sounds so easy, but it is anything but, and we also know that you can all attest to this in one way or the other. For even if there is no thing that the heart craves more than to do just this, there is still a lot of resistance within that complex and convoluted human mind, and even if your intelligence is more than capable of knowing the difference, there is a long step from knowing to allowing, and that is where you all stand now. For what seems so simple as an idea, can be made extremely complicated if your mind can have its way, and so, the journey from potential to manifestation can be a long and hard one. But that is why you all came to be here in the first place, for you knew that this was the task, and you knew that you were the ones capable of taking it on. For you are not the ones that will dream of making this happen, you are the ones that are making it come about even as we speak. And even if this process can seem endless to you, you are in fact racing ahead, and you are completing that gap between the idea and the manifestation of it every single second. So again we say, know that even if you do feel despondent and out of breath at the moment, you are all making great progress, and even if you think that the doors to your heart have been sealed permanently shut by your mind, you cannot be more wrong. For your mind is finally learning the truth and that truth is that it can put down its arms, for there are no more wars to fight now. All it has to do, is to let you take over. For the time has come to let the mind take a well-deserved rest from the old duties of keeping you going, 
for the mind is no longer needed as the master and commander, now that the heart stands poised to take over the helm, so even if the mind can be more stubborn than a mule, there is no need to curse it. For it has only done what it knows best, and all it has done, has been to protect you under the old laws. But those old laws of limitation are no longer valid, and so, you can thank your mind for the love it has had for you, but you can also tell it to step back, let go and let be. For now, you are the master of your domain, in every sense of the word, and your heart is the new command center for any action that needs to be taken in the time ahead, and so, the sooner you manage to truly take this in, the faster this process of turning over the reins will be completed. For this is not something that comes from the outside, this is something that can only come from within. For the doors to your heart cannot be forced, they can only be opened from the inside, and now, we can see so many cracks starting to appear in so many hearts. So do not berate yourself if you still feel as clammed up as muscle under attack, you are not closed off, you are just ever so slowly opening up. And as soon as you manage to trust yourself even more, those doors will fly off the hinges in a shower of love and light for never to become shut ever again. The Constant Companions Channeled by Asia North Asianorth.wordpress.com